My brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating Holy Thursday. And once again, I would like to begin my reflection by doing today's gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from, from supper and took off his outer garments and he took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dried them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I'm doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has but no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who will betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, has washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should, do, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, Today, on Holy Thursday, we, as Catholics, celebrate the institution of two sacraments, the Holy Eucharist and Holy Orders of the Priesthood, and also the commandment of love by our Lord Jesus Christ. And in today's Gospel, we witness the humility and the love of Jesus, who kneels in front of his disciples, and one by one washes their feet. I believe that they must have been, they might have been breathless as he tenderly cared for each of them. He was so deeply moved for, for he knew that his hour had come to pass from this world. He loved his own in the world and he loved them to the end. Jesus understood that he was soon to say goodbye and he wanted to express himself in the tenderness of ways. Peter was trying to resist, but Jesus persisted. He wanted Peter to receive his gift so that when Jesus was gone, Peter and the disciples would wash the feet of others. Pope Francis has given us a modern version of this powerful example. 
I have watched the video of Pope Francis several times when he was washing the feet of people in prison on Holy Thursday, shortly after he had become our Pope. Some people were allowed to hold their children. In one scene, we see a mother holding her precious baby. The Pope gently washes the beautiful feet of the baby and then the feet of his mother. And all the while, the woman weeps. With great reverence following the foot washing, Pope Francis kisses their feet. Some of the men wept too when the Pope washed and kissed their feet. And as I view the video and see the people weeping, I always weep with them. Just as they were touched by the incredible act of selflessness extended to them by our Holy Father, I am touched as well. It is a gesture that stirs deeply within us as he demonstrates his love and care for their precious lives. Pope Francis was Jesus. When someone extends their love and care for us at times in our lives when we are very vulnerable, we are, we are often moved to tears knowing that they are demonstrating how much we are loved. When we are loved like this, are not we moved to love others as well? Did the disciples weep when Jesus washed their feet? Were they touched by this great act of care for them? Did he wash away some of the pain of their lives? I believe that they might have been deeply moved as they experienced their holy companion extended this depth of care for them, and I imagine that some of them wept. As we pray this Holy Thursday, may we open our hearts to God, who will wash away our pain. Then may we in turn find ways to extend ourselves to wash away the pain of others. My brothers and sisters, I would like to give you my priestly blessing in, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.